Hey, it's mom. And the chef. Hey, we have not been here in uh, quite a few weeks. Um, some of you know you've been praying for us the last time. Uh, for my father, and sadly he passed away two weeks ago, we will be having um, a, what is it called? A graveside service next week in Suffolk at 11 o'clock um, at the, what is it? In well, Suffolk, the military, the military War veterans. veterans. Um, so thank you very much for just loving us, being us, but today we really felt like we wanted to to cook, and that's what we do, right? Yep. We cook. He is feeling horrible because of this Our crazy, so crazy bad weather. Bad. I'm stuffed up and my ears are really bothering me, but we decided to do a little, little, little something different, right? So this is sort of different yes. for tacos for us, so uh, why don't you tell them? We're very out of it. Um, <laughs> So we're gonna do carne asada tacos and pork tacos. So I went ahead and uh, pre-cooked some meat halfway through, so we're gonna heat it up. We actually build the tacos that way. So I have the carne asada cooked about mid rare. Um, let it rest, and then I cut it up. Like I said, I'm gonna reheat it. Um, these are the jalapenos that I put with the marinade and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, pork, um, same thing. Let it cool it off, diced it up, and I mm -hmm. kept the the, the sauce the, I the, made. The drippings for a yeah. sauce that we're gonna once we're heating it up, I'll add it to it. Yeah, it's kind of like a barbecue Korean Korean barbecue. Yeah, that I made. Um, um, <clears> that's <throat> what I actually cooked it in and tin foil it for like an hour, <coughs> like a little tiny, tiny, tiny. Yeah. Uh, then my mom went ahead and made a chipotle, uh, lime, uh, lime, um, cabbage yeah. for her tacos. Then I have a mango and onion, um, salsa here. Then we have pickled cucumbers and onions, and then I have diced radish and carrots. So we have sour cream and cheddar cheese. Uh, we've got, um, so these, you get some mini street tacos. Yes, yeah, so we got Hawaiian sweet, um, Flour tacos, and we got corn tortillas. Yes, which I'm gonna. So uh, I will cook. right now, my mom is gonna go ahead and get corn tortillas rolling. Why? Sure. I, I go ahead. You and, wanna go talk about the, the salsa that you made? Oh well, yeah, I can do that. Uh, the sauce, all it is, is it's a half red onion, uh, one whole mango, diced. You can use canned or fresh, whatever you can get. Um, Tell them what happened though. We were trying it was to. Actually, peach. I was actually gonna make a peach salsa, but guess what? Peaches Ooh. we got once we cut them open. They turned really quick and they were not good. Horrible. So you got mango. Uh, then I did one whole jalapeno. I seeded it out. Um, and then uh, add about a tablespoon of cilantro, a tablespoon of mint, and uh, one teaspoon of sugar. And I left some of the juices for the mango and just let it sit for about an hour or so. It's kind of like soften. So this is also not super sweet and not super spicy, which is really great. Uh, and then we decided, I went ahead and decided to do the pickled onions and cucumbers together. Uh, get a little bit of the flavor. Um, and then my mom went ahead and since she knows this recipe by heart now, <laughs> we did, she did the daikon radish and uh, carrots. She loves this. <laughs> I love this because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, instead of a taco, I'm going to put it on she's some gonna make rice. She's going to make Yeah. She's got, she's yeah. got rice for her, but we're, we're doing tacos for this video, so I'm going to make her a bowl later. So let's go ahead and dig in. Let's do it. Do what? Look, who's on? <laughs> oh, my sister's watching. So we're going to go ahead and start this now. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, um, something I like to do when I was taught, when you're ever cooking meat and stuff for tacos in a pan, you save the drippings in it and you put the taco, uh, the shells in there because the shells will absorb some of that flavor too, mm -hmm. which is really awesome. So this is on. We're using this for the taco shells. This will be for the meat. So I'm going to turn this on. I already had this on, so this is kind of already hot. Um, this is for the taco shells. Yes. The corn tortillas you want? Yes. yes? Okay. I'm doing corn. I'm not doing. Um, we have flour in there too. I know, but I, I want to do I like corn. Yeah, he loves corn. corn yeah, we love corn. Thing. So look at that. Isn't that wonderful? So this is probably already ready, ready to go. Um, I don't know. I usually put. Yeah, it's ready. Um, a Let's few go on ahead there. And do so. I usually do for when I make street tacos. It's usually two taco shells per taco. Yep. Because you're gonna think they'll rip. Okay. So right here, this is two tacos. I'm going to put two more on the side, just in case, so I knew. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead. I'll turn this up a little bit more. It, it'll, it'll go real quick because this is the dual one, so I don't want it to burn. See? Right. So this is a dual one, so this, like, heats really, really quick. So it's getting there. So. Yeah. Okay, so right now it's heating up, so I'm going to go ahead and... 
uh, the taco meat. You can turn that up if you want a little bit, make it to six. Yeah. And then it'll start getting away. Looks really awesome. I love the jalapenos to this. <laughs> you could do fried onions. Yeah. To so that I, as well. I'm gonna I'll just do one pork and uh, two carne asada. Okay. I'm just gonna let those heat up. I'm also gonna put the pork in here too, but I'm gonna wait till last minute to add the sauce the other, to it. The other okay. Sauce. Yeah, this is already starting to do its thing right here. Mm -hmm. But you want a little color on these? Not super super colored. Okay. You don't want them burnt. Right. So those are going. That's cooking right now. And That's please do not use uh, your hands. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's a chef. I know somebody was like, oh my God, he's using his hands. Oh my Lord. So yes, that's what the chef does. But no, as home cooks, we don't. <laughs> All you're really doing is just heating this Heating up. it up. Okay. So if you had leftover steak or chicken, you could do that as well? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Any leftover meat that you wanted. This is going to be very quick. Yes. Like I said, this is already cooked. I'll let it rest. I'm just reheating it right now. Juices. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put that there. You wanna grab the you want me to grab the other two? Oh, oh he's yeah. already doing that. So, oh see, I'm talking about this is like so if you have leftover steak or if this steak actually was a marinade and the marinade was just taco seasoning. Um, and we that marinade for a couple hours and then we took it out. It was like a skirt steak and there's like other steaks you can even use just a sirloin if you want something like that. And this was like a pre-packaged one that we got. And, um, you know, we can, you just season it the way you want. And then this is how we do. We put so everything together. Keep talking. I'm going to Keep talking. So you got this flipped up. Yeah. And, you know, um, some people like their meat a little cooked a little bit more. But if you want to do a vegetarian version of this, then have your favorite vegetables and have them pre-sauteed, not so they still have a crunch to them. And then you could do this. You could do this with tofu. We've done that before. That's probably one of my favorite ones. I'm sure my daughter's agreeing with that as we're talking. Because, um, and I'm going to flip in these over real quick. Um, you can use corn or flour. I really prefer corn when eating. There's something about the sweetness that just comes out. But I love flour for my morning uh, breakfast tacos. <laughs> so um, I love that. But this is just a quick little thing. I know yesterday was Taco Tuesday, but today well, is... Yesterday was oh, yesterday is Wednesday. I'm so off. I, I just because of everything happened with my dad, I just... Kind of not here, 100%. We're working on it. My dog is in here, Flash, trying to play with this ball. He's a little goof. Awesome. And I love these, taco, uh, these um, tacos right now. They are on sale at um, Kroger for $1.99. <laughs> so there's the salsa. Looks really good. So then you can do one with the pickled uh, onions and cucumbers. Beautiful. And this one is with slaw. And that is chipotle um, seasoning powder. And I put uh, half a squeeze of lime on it and a little bit of sour cream. <laughs> Got some cheddar cheese that's if you it. want. And that's watches. it. I mean... Um, we also got some scoops, so we can do some salsa with that. Mm -hmm. But this is really the quickest meal that you can make for your family. You could also put this meat um, inside a crock pot if you wanted to, yep. to tenderize it so it falls apart and come home. And you can pre-make all this stuff like ahead of time. I mean, yep. what was inside of um, this is uh, rice wine vinegar, a little bit of sugar, and some boss. No, what was it? That's up there. The garlic. Balsam. The, no, this. Balsam. Balsam. Yeah, sambal. If you guys know, this is the like the chili garlic paste. Oh, pantry must have. This also right in here, all it was in here was the same exact ingredients, yeah. but I put in here the exact same thing. So, love it. Okay, so here we go. Which one are you tasting? This is the pork one. The pork. Oh, I'm sure it tastes wonderful. Mm. Yeah? Is that mango? Yeah, the mango really comes through. 
That's fine. <laughs> Here's your napkin. <laughs> nope, he's going for the next. And this is what we do. We love making the little smaller things or versions of things. It kind of just gives you more variety if you have a family that, you know, just like seafood or just like to eat meat or just like to have vegetables. I mean, you can kind of do your own version of everything. But, you know, this recipe, we'll probably put the recipe for the salsa on there just because that was just like something that we haven't done. Like this kind of salsa, but everything else we've put mm -hmm. on there. So what do you think? Is it good? It's awesome. <laughs> so we did a quick one. So hopefully we'll be back on next week. We will not have one because it's my father's um, mm -hmm. funeral. But we will come on again uh, the following week. Week and hopefully we. I really want to do something Canadian. Can we do that? Yeah, Can we yeah. do some crepes. something? We've done crepes before, but maybe we should do we'll something like like. Coco Vaughn or, or I don't know. We'll come up with something Canadian to share our heritage. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to go over with the meat and everything because we've had some more people join. So this is meat that's been marinating in light taco seasoning for a few hours. And then we cooked it straight in the pan like so just to get a nice sear on either side and took it off when it was mid-rare because we wanted to heat it up. This is pork that we marinated as well in like a Korean barbecue sauce. Um, it was pretty already packaged. I really loved it. I've used this before. We used to pork, pork belly, but we didn't go to the store to buy pork belly. Um, but all you do is just reheat it up in the stove. And then you come over here. And remember, this is a corn tortilla. You have flours, but usually always do two of them, not one. And why do we do two is because no, it, can, it won't rip and won't fall up apart. And mm -hmm. so over here, as you see, we have some... Uh, this is daikon radish with carrots, and this is more people are coming on. He's telling me to hurry up, so ignore no, I'm that. Not. I'm yes, he we is. just talked about that. But I have more people come on, so you have to share it. And rewind. I know, rewind. <laughs> we want to say thank you so for uh, mom and, and mom chef. and <laughs> yeah, I'm holding the camera. <laughs> Bill had to take a call, so we love you, appreciate it, and God bless. Bye. Sorry.